Hey everyone, today I've got a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're going to be showing you how to flash the BIOS on this ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. We're going to be doing this with the ASUS flashback button here on the back, but without any components, even the CPU installed on this motherboard. Now we do need a USB flash drive to do this. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into a working PC and we'll get started in setting this up and then we'll jump over to the motherboard. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so here we are on my Windows PC. I should mention that the flash drive we plugged in needs to have at least one gigabyte of space on it. And we're gonna be formatting it, so you're gonna lose everything on that flash drive, so make sure it is backed up. And we're gonna be formatting it to the FAT32 format, which typically is only done on a 32 gigabyte or smaller flash drive. So if you're having troubles, that might be the problem. So let's go ahead and format that flash drive. You can head on down to your file explorer here at the bottom. If you don't have a shortcut to that, Go to your start menu here and we're gonna right click on it and you should see the file explorer option here. We'll left click on that. That's gonna load up the file explorer on your computer. Now over here on the left hand side, you'll find your flash drive under this PC. Mine's a Kodak one. Yours is likely called something different, SanDisk or maybe Lexar, um, just depending on the brand you have. We're gonna go ahead and left click on our flash drive. I currently don't have anything on that flash drive, but you might have files. And again, you will lose all the files on the flash drive. Now over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna go again to that flash drive and we're gonna format it. So we're gonna right click on the flash drive, make sure it is the correct drive. And you're gonna see a little menu that comes up and there is the format option here. Go ahead and left click on that. And we're gonna have the format Kodak D drive. And again, that would be different for the name of your flash drive. You can see my capacity here. We're gonna just leave that as is. The file system, this is the important one. Make sure FAT32 is selected. You'll see other ones in here, but make sure FAT32 is selected. Um, it's gonna have an allocation unit size. I like to hit the restore device defaults here, but still make sure that that FAT32 is selected. And you could change the name of the drive here as well. We're just gonna leave that as Kodak and quick format is selected. And we'll go ahead and hit start. Warning, formatting will erase all data on this disk. To format the disk, click OK, click Quit to cancel. We'll hit OK, and it's gonna start formatting that flash drive. Format complete, so that is all done. So let's jump over to the ASUS website here, and I'll put a link to this specific motherboard down below in the description. If you're using a different motherboard, make sure it is the correct motherboard. And from here, we're looking for the support option when you've got the motherboard and it's gonna bring up the next page here and we're looking for the driver and utilities option here. Left click on that and we'll scroll down. You should see BIOS and firmware here. You can left click on that and all the different BIOS and firmware will come up. You can hit show all here to show all of them. I'm looking for the most recent one. This one's only a couple months old and there is a download option here. So we'll go ahead and download that. And I'm actually gonna move this folder over to my desktop just to make it a little bit easier. We'll drop it on our desktop there. And it is a zipped folder. So we're gonna to have to unzip that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on it. And you should see the extract all option. We'll left click on that. And I'm just gonna select browse and I'll put it right on my desktop. And we'll just hit select folder. And then I'll just go ahead and hit extract here. And it's gonna put those two files on my desktop. Now take note of the name um, because the second one is gonna change. It says Tough Gaming and it's gonna change because we have to run this other file called the BIOS Renamer. This is really important. So go ahead and open up BIOS Renamer. It's gonna open up and it's gonna show us it's gonna change the file name from this long name to tg550pw2.cap. It says press any key to continue. So we'll just hit a key there and you can see that the file name is now changed. So we need to copy just this file over to our flash drive. So I'll open up the file explorer again here and I'll find my flash drive here, Kodak. And we're just gonna drag and drop that into the flash drive. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and eject this flash drive and we'll jump over to the motherboard and do our BIOS flashback. So we need to connect our power supply to the motherboard. Currently this is not plugged in or turned on. And we're gonna be using the 24 pin connector right here and the eight pin CPU connector up there. So let's go ahead and plug those in. So we'll take that from our motherboard and we will plug in the 24 pin here in the corner. 
just like that. And we'll take our eight pin CPU connector and plug that in up here at the top. Just like that. So those are plugged in as you can see, just like that. And now we can go ahead and plug in and turn on our power supply. And you can see the lights turned on up here. So we know there's power coming to the motherboard. So jumping around to our IO here, you can see that my IO shield is not attached. On some motherboards they come attached. But what we want to note here on the IO shield, you can see that there's the flashback button here, which corresponds to this button here. And this one here has a little rectangle around it. It says BIOS, which is the second USB port down. And you can hold up your IO shield just to line that up. So we're gonna go ahead and plug our flash drive into the second port down here. And again, the power supply is now on. And then we're gonna hold down our flashback button here for three seconds. So we're gonna hold it down. One, two, three. And you can see that the light is flashing here. And we're gonna just let this do its flash. You can see my um, flash drive is blinking as well. And we're gonna just let that do its thing. Usually it takes um, a few minutes and I'll come back to you once it's complete. All right, so our ASUS BIOS flashback is complete. You can see the lights went out and that took about four minutes or so for my motherboard here. We can go ahead and turn off our power supply and then remove our power cables here and we are all done. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you use your ASUS flashback button on your motherboard. If it did help you out, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe here to Northern Viking Every Day. And YouTube thinks you should watch this video up here next. So why don't you check that one out? Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.